Hello everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. You join me in Canada, just outside Vancouver, and we are doing a short trip today over to Squamish. I hope I'm saying that right. Squamish? Squamish? For those that are wondering, we're using Pro Mods Canada, which I'll put a link to in the video description below. Unfortunately, I lost my profile, so we've started a new one, and we are essentially starting out here in Vancouver as a company driver. So we're just basically driving and hauling what we are given. We're driving the new Volvo VNL and we are transporting some garbage, dumpsters, whatever you want to call them. I'm very excited to get back into Pro Mods Canada. The sun is shining, the skies are blue. What a fantastic day to go trucking. I've been sitting here for a little minute. I want to make sure that we're good to turn left. There's nothing on the road. The Honda turns. Okay, let's pull out. I haven't actually driven this Volvo truck before, and my first impressions of it are that it's really slow, but maybe that's because I've just not been in American Truck Simulator for a little while. It seems kind of sluggish to get through the gears, but then again, we're a company driver, we're driving a fleet truck, so this has probably got the poverty spec engine in it. But so far so good, the traffic is fairly quiet and we've got a great little sat nav down in the display over there to keep us right. Now we've got those details out of the way, I want to say a big hello, how are you doing? I hope you've been having a good week and are having a fantastic weekend. Uh, we're going to take a left here so let's get into the turn lane. For those that follow my ATS content, I have to say apologies for not putting out an awful lot recently. I don't know what's going on there. Like some of the cars went and some didn't. A little bit of a weird AI thing going on there. I think I had the right of way. But they've stopped now, so let's take this turn. This is an interesting one. I thought this was two lanes, but we we're just gonna sit in the left lane we can't take a right turn. Can have a look over that way, we're good. We're good in both directions. So let's pull out. Yeah, this truck is really slow. So sluggish to get going. For those that watch my American Truck Simulator series, sorry for not having any videos out recently. I kind of got a little bit bored of ATS, if I'm honest. A lot of the maps, a lot of the new DLC, as good as they are, I felt they were very similar, very samey, and as much as I've been playing them in my own time, I didn't really think they warranted making a video on them. There wasn't really anything special or different to talk about. This is a bit of a different video for you guys today because normally I take an unusual truck or quite a high spec truck and kind of hand pick the cargo but today I've just taken whatever they've given us. This is the first job on a new map. We don't even have our company headquarters set up yet. And so for me, this is really exciting and refreshing. SES Software have recently updated the game. They've improved a lot of the graphics. There isn't the same sort of shimmer from the anti-aliasing, which I really appreciate. At the moment, I'm not really seeing any frame drops. Um, I have a 240 Hertz monitor, but I do have my frame rate capped at 60 frames per second, which I do think helps if you are experiencing problems with frame stutters and a little bit of lag in the game. We're running this, I believe, at 4K, with everything else pretty much maxed out. I don't like the field of view on in my game, so I've put that off. I hate seeing that blur in the background. So that's about the only thing that we have switched off. Our journey is going really well today. We've got some nice winding roads that are fairly quiet and we are making good progress. Not exactly speeding, we're struggling in most parts to hit the speed limit, but that's okay. We're not in a hurry at all. We're rookies who have just started our trucking career here in Vancouver and we are excited to explore all of these great areas. I hope you enjoy this video and hopefully I make a couple more um, just showcasing the beauty that is ProMods Canada. I would say it's right up there in terms of quality with the default SCS map. 
it's weird it has a Canadian feel to it when you go back to the American map it feels very American this just seems to have a different feel to it okay we're gonna have to use a little bit of Jake break coming down these hills oh and listen to the sound of that that's really unusual quite a distinct Jake break sound going on there I really quite like that we'll let the fire truck go by and let the other cars just go past I don't really want to go too quickly it's been a little minute since I've been in the sim, so I don't want to make any foolish mistakes when we're recording here. I see a sign there for Whistler. That's somewhere that I've visited in real life. A great place. I managed to visit Vancouver and Whistler a number of years ago and got to do a little bit of skiing on Whistler Mountain and the neighbouring one which I think is called Blackcomb Mountain. Merge, oh, we're going to have to merge over this lane is ending. This is one thing that I really do not like about driving in North America is the fact that these right hand lanes just all of a sudden end and even though we're in this big truck we've then got to fight our way over to the left. And there's the Canadian Pacific Railroad. Oh, this feels so good to be back behind the wheel. And someone's been pulled over by the cops in their Pontiac. Well, hopefully that truck slows down and doesn't run into the back of them. I always think these truck sims are just the best way to spend a bit of time to relax and chill and maybe listen to some music or listen to a podcast in the background. They're a really great way to game in a sort of low intensity way. I really like that. I think that's fantastic to unwind. We're coming into a little town here and we're gonna get a red light, so let's pull up. I love the little gas station there. Looks like a visitor center across the road. And, uh, oh, what's this car beside us? This is a Dodge. Is it a Durango? I'm not sure. We didn't have them here in the UK. Um, I think it might be a Dodge Durango. You can let me know in the comments if my knowledge of American cars is good or bad. So, yeah, the plan on this little series we're going to do is just to explore different bits of this Canada map. It's pretty big. It's not obviously the whole of Canada. It's this kind of Pacific West Coast area. And um, I think we'll do some routes into the northern states of the USA as well, just to mix things up a little bit. Oh, we're in Squamish already. Then We're making great progress. Okay, so we're getting into the big city here. And we've got a couple of restaurants, looks like a hotel or an apartment complex over there. And uh, we've got a green light, so let's just push on. Now, I do notice I don't have my GPS voice navigation turned on at the moment. I do like to have that on because sometimes these maps can be a little bit tricky to read. Now, I believe we're taking a right here. Yeah, I would say so. This is a little bit of a weird turn. Oh wait, I think I've... Uh, I think I messed up. It wasn't a right turn at all. And that was the point I was just making about the GPS. Um, it's often easier if you can get the GPS just to tell you when to turn. I really struggle with some of these maps sometimes when they're so zoomed out like that. Alright, well, we've got the GPS working. Should have some audio navigation now, which should keep us on the right track. I believe... If we come out this way, we should get back onto the road that we were just on. I hope so anyway, because I don't fancy doing a turn in the car park there. We'll head along this little side road. Hopefully it's big enough for us to get back onto the main road. There's the main road just in front of us. And hopefully we can take a right at the end of this street. I love the mountains and all the trees and the just amazing scenery here in ProMods Canada. They do feel like little Canadian towns. Okay, let's watch those tandems back there. We'll try and keep this as best we can in the right-hand lane. We're doing not too bad. Lights go green. Again, watch those tandems. Let's swing this nice and wide. Watch no one is up the right-hand side of us. And we'll get over back into the slow lane. 
Well, you might be wondering where I've been. I had a bit of a hiatus there in the summer. You, you probably noticed I didn't really put up many videos. And that's because during the summer months, during the month of July anyway, I always take off of YouTube. And I do the same in January as well, just to have a little bit of a break, to help me think up new ideas for videos, just to refresh, upskill myself in some new techniques for video editing and things like that and uh, just spend a bit of time with the family as well and it gives me a chance to get away on holiday as well okay we're past those beautiful cherry blossom trees and we're turning left here Turn left. i'm probably turning a little bit late and a little bit wide but we're wanting to take no chances here so our drop-off location is just along this street. This looks like some sort of industrial facility with lots of factories. And here we go. Turn right. Let's take this wide because no one's coming. We're good there. And then, yep, yeah, we're going to take a left here. This is an unusual situation, showing up at a home store or a Home Depot and not having many cars rolling in and out. Do you think the trucks would actually use the same entrance as the cars in shops like this? It tends to be here in the UK, we have, we've got totally separate entrances around the back of the building, but I don't know. You can let me know if that's the case. I feel like a big truck like this should probably have its own entrance for loading and un unloading, but you can let me know if that is the case in North America. All right, well, they've opened the gate for us. Let me just speak to the guard and see where they want us. We can just say we're in a hurry and we can drop the trailer here, which would be pretty irresponsible. It would trap a lot of cars in the car park. We can play it safe and park the trailer around the corner, just drive it in straight and drop it. Or for a little bit more of our trucking experience, which we really need to build up, we can do a back into what looks like a dock around the back of the building there. I think we'll go for that. We'll go for the 90 XP. We're not in a great rush. We got all the time in the world here. So let's just roll into the yard. Yard looks fairly tidy. There's no obstacles around here. And right, let's just take it nice and easy. I would have my four ways on. I know I should have them on, but it can be fairly irritating. All right, well, we've got a couple of obstacles here. We've got a trailer that's been dropped. Um, and we've got a trailer in the dock over there. So I'm trying to work out from my map where they want us. I think the guy in the guard shack said all the way around the back. Oh yeah, and there's where they want the trailer to be dropped off. Do you see over there on the right hand side where there's those cones? So let's put the parking brake on and uh, let's hop out and have a look at what we're dealing with. Yeah, I think we've got enough room in this yard. We can do, a, we'll try and do a fairly teardrop shape because we've got to watch the fairings on this truck. Um, but if we take it easy, we should be absolutely fine. So let's just hug the wall over here. It doesn't help that we've got some workers from the store having their cigarette break and watching what we're doing. So if we hug the wall close there, got to watch out for these bollards. And then we'll tighten up a little bit and then release the steering. I think we're good for the failings at the back there. We've got plenty of space. The beeping is just the truck telling me that we're close to an object, just like a parking sensor. Yeah, we're going to be absolutely fine here. Not too bad at all. And what I think we'll want to do is we'll take a right like so and then we'll straighten up about here and that'll give us a nice angle so we can look out the window and we can see the whole length of the trailer are we far enough forward i think we are i think we can do this we've not given ourselves a lot of space but i think the angle here is pretty good there's nothing on the other side of the truck for us to run into oh and i've noticed my first problem with the setup here to reverse i have to push the foot brake so I'm going to have to change those settings shortly. It'll be fine for backing in today, but it does feel a little bit odd to be pushing the brake to make the truck reverse.
All right, we're doing good. Nice shallow angle. We know we're good on the other side because we're pretty close to this cone. Now, does this line look good? We look like we're off a little bit. Kind of feels like we're straight with the fence at the back. So I'm going to get out and have a look here because I don't know if the cones are maybe squint. No, I do think I'm a little bit squint. Yeah, I'm definitely coming at a bit of an angle there. That cone at the back there seems a little bit squint too. I don't know. I'm running a mod here so you don't see the normal lines on the ground. You know, the ones that turn green when you get into them. Um, we've got the cones, which is a more realistic feel. But I'm not totally convinced by the position of them. It's kind of hard to keep square in the zone. I guess that's the skill of having this mod here. I'm not sure I totally love it. I don't know if I've got quite the trucking skills to deal with that and to get the truck absolutely centered. But you know what? We're okay on this line. We're in the zone. They've marked it out. I think they're going to be happy enough with this. So we'll just move the trailer over a little bit. So we're parallel at least with these two cones, which I would say now we are. And this is a cool mod, but again, one of the problems is it's kind of hard to know when you're all the way in the space and they're happy with the job that you've done. So that's my complaint about this. Let's get out. We're definitely closer to the two cones on our side than the other, but do you not think those look kind of squint? Like that front cone in particular on the other side looks out of place. I don't know. But anyway, we made it our first journey as a fleet driver here in Canada. How did we do? Oh, we got an excellent. We drove 123 kilometers and it took us just under three hours. We made 760 bucks and we've even got our own headquarters down in Vancouver. Anyway, that will do us for today. Thanks so much for watching, but most importantly, have an excellent day. And until the next one, take care.